hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel i know it's been a long time since i made a video i just hope this is not entering my mouth i don't want to like keep it down here okay let me try uh, okay hi guys okay so i know that it's been a long time i made a video but it's been so hectic so hectic it's been so stressful okay so in today's video i'm going to be answering questions because i have a couple of questions a lot of questions really on my tiktok instagram here on youtube in the comment section which i am going to be addressing the ones that i think that i can i'm going to be addressing those questions here and without further ado let's jump right into this video okay so um i'll start this video by giving a run through of how i started my canada relocation journey so for me i wanted to come into canada to study nursing right and i'm an international student from nigeria so i wanted to come into canada to study nursing so how did i go about this because this is a frequently asked questions ask question rather so what i did was first you need to search for the school you want to apply to so there are a couple of schools there are a lot of schools here in canada that you have to make your research to know which one you want to be in the one you're interested in so you have to make your research and this just boils down to what you want it boils down to um your capacity your financial capacity right if you're able to afford you have so many schools so you have to look for the one that falls within your budget so which was what i did i went to search for schools that i know that falls within my financial budget at the time right and let me just give you like an advice know that you have seen videos talking about colleges being quite cheaper than universities here in canada which is very true if you're looking for a friendly budget you can decide to go to a college a college is quite cheaper and it doesn't mean that um, a college is no good because so people say oh why is a college cheaper it doesn't mean that a college is no good a college is okay it's just that there are differences between colleges and universities here in canada one difference that we all know is that universities are quite bigger than colleges here in canada like their class size is quite bigger compared to a college here in canada as i was saying you have to look for a friendly budget which one falls within your budget go online search for schools go on google just write um just type cheap um schools in canada and this also depends on the course you want to take the program you want to go for so for different schools they have different tuition fees right so for nursing now it is it varies so in different colleges they have different tuition fees so you have to just search basically you have to search for the one that falls within your budget which was the first thing i did so after searching for the one that falls within your budget the very important thing that you shouldn't forget is that while you're searching for these schools search for a dli institution a dli school so what does dli means dli means designated learning institution so this means that if your school falls within the category of a dli it means you are able to apply for the postgraduate work permit yes so the postgraduate work permit will allow you to work after your study here in canada okay so let me break it down so if you go online make sure that the school you're searching for is a designated learning institution which will allow you to work after you're done with your program so if you're coming into canada to do a diploma in business administration for example for two years right make sure that the school you are applying to is a designated learning institution which will enable you to 
apply for the postgraduate work permit so after your two years here in canada for your studies you'll be able to apply for your postgraduate work permit and which can be two years or three years right for a one-year program your postgraduate work permit is one year right for a two years program it can vary from two years to three years two years program and you know upward it varies like that so if your school is not a dli you will not be eligible to apply for a postgraduate work permit and if your aim is to become a permanent resident in canada through the study visa route you would want to apply to a designated learning institution so that you have time to work after your study here in canada which will serve as your canadian work experience i hope i'm i'm not beginning to this thing is not becoming too much but if you don't apply to a dli school you'll not be eligible for the postgraduate work permit that's what it means after you search that this school is part of your dli is part of a dli here in canada then you go and search for the criteria to be able to apply to this school so different schools again have different admission requirements and different processes so when you search for this school you also search for the admission requirements for that school so for my own school for my school i went on their website and i searched for the admission requirements for nursing mind you admission requirements also varies for different programs so for my program you need to have like a very high average score so for me what i did was i made sure to gather every document that i could gather every from my high school transcripts to my post-secondary school transcripts that's because i've been to a post-secondary school and higher institution in nigeria before so what i did was gathered my yec results if you're in nigerian and i also gathered my higher institution um transcripts right so then i used it to apply so then the school has a way of summing up everything and giving you an average score so if you've seen my previous video i talked about how the first time when i applied my average score was not enough because at the time i wasn't done with my higher institution and i only used my yec to apply and i just needed like few points to be able to meet the average so i had to wait Okay, so once my transcript was out, I, then I used my transcript and my YEC result to apply for the admission. And my, if you see my video, like I said, you might want to just go back and watch those videos after this one to be able to relate to what I'm saying. So after I applied, my admission took me six months, which I, I don't know why it took me that long. I don't know why to be sincere because i know so many people that applied to the same school got their admission you know earlier two weeks three weeks a month but my own really took long i really don't know why it took that long so what i would advise is that you should also apply on time apply on time because different schools have like different time to like apply so if you want to apply for fall you should start applying by now in march you should apply for admission for fall or you should have even applied so you have to apply earlier so that once they give you your admission you have time to do your visa processing and you have time to do your visa processing so after i am i got my admission after six months i got my admission the next thing i did was to apply for my visa okay so i say a lot of questions that did you write the IELTS exam? Did your school ask you to do it? So for my school, my school had like list of countries that were exempted from taking the IELTS exam, which Nigeria happens to be one of those countries that was exempted. So I didn't have to write like the IELTS exam at all. Like, yes. I didn't have to write it for my school actually so you can write the ILTS exam if you want to uh, pass, do the permanent residence route that's the express entry or if your school requires that you do it you know you have to take the exam but if your school does not say that um 
your your country is being exempted please do it um that's why you need to make your research well and mind you i didn't use any agents when applying for my admission i just went ahead and did my research so because i see people come into my dm and ask that which agent did you use i did not use any agent this thing is very straightforward if you want it if you're ready to do the work to be sincere if you're ready to put in the work you will get the result so i tell people that come you know people that send me messages i'm like no you can do this thing yourself apply yourself send applications yourself do you get but if you don't have that time you don't have the energy and you think that oh you need somebody to help you then good for you just look for a trusted person to apply for you another question i am um, got was somebody asked if i applied to more than one school so calm down calm down i actually did not apply to any other school apart from my school because at the time at the time i didn't take what i was doing seriously to be sincere so i didn't apply to so many schools i just applied to one school but i would advise that you apply to different schools to be sincere because when i was waiting for my admission that took six months if i had applied to another school i'm sure that i would have gotten admission letter from another school and even forgotten about the school because it was a long time to wait six months was really long so if you're applying if you have the money to pay please do apply to a couple of schools but don't apply to more than two or three schools to be sincere because why are you applying to plenty of schools it's not what is the stress so apply to two schools or three at most so that if one is taking time the other one would you know give you an a, a response as soon as they can and depending on your program so nursing is very competitive i know that you guys know about it so you can decide to apply to a couple of schools so you don't have to wait for so long yeah an application fee varies so for some schools they have application fee waiver you get so you have to just make your research to be sincere because you can't get everything in one video so make your research right and if you would want to ask questions i'm here for you to ask questions and please just take it easy on me <laughs> i'm really here for you to ask questions you can ask questions in the comment section or say hi on my instagram right i'll leave the link in my description box so you can do well to just read make sure you're reading the description box for information so yeah application fee varies from school to school so just check on the website and you see the application fee for my school the application fee for international students if you're interested is a hundred and seven canadian dollars yes a hundred and seven canadian dollars in naira should be i don't know i'm going to do the calculation and put it on the screen because i know naira exchange rate now is like 560 after this i applied for my visa